Hi, my name is Hope Stratman, and I'm a senior at Scott Catholic. I like your work! <laughs> and this poem is titled, Breathing. The average person breathes in 13 pints of air every minute, and at rest, a body takes 12 cycles of breath in that minute. I remember my panicked, frantic breathing when I was five getting a flu shot. I sucked air in and pushed it back out like a cornered asthmatic. I remember, too, my long, slow inhales a few years later before a piano recital. I look down at my shaking fingers and then up again to the heavens as I listen to the wind in my throat. Breathing is one of the only autonomous systems of the body that we can also control. Although our body naturally governs our breathing, we can consciously influence it. Even now, when I am 17, and sitting with my forehead pressed against the wall of a dark, empty classroom, I slam my eyes shut, let my mouth drop open, place a hand near my lungs, and focus on that last thing to be still in my control. I have been taught in through the nose and out through the mouth, but with every breath, I am reminded how fragile respiration is. On the blackest days, I remember that breathing is a choice. After the average person has been deprived of oxygen for approximately 60 seconds, their brain cells begin dying. After the 90 second mark, they may lose consciousness. After five minutes, death is imminent. I have never tried to take my own life, but I have taken the surveys in the therapist's office that carefully ask about my intentions towards my wrists. I have, on the last day of seventh grade, taken a look at the empty lockers and desks scrubbed clean, wondering if I could make it through the summer to be alive for the eighth grade. But in humans, the left lung has evolved to be smaller than the right lung to make room in the chest for the heart. Since the beginning of every narrative, Breath has been looking out for that red, pounding thing that aches and swells and reminds us to feel. And on days when my shoulders quiver and my knees groan and I decide I do not like myself, my lungs give that love to my heart like they give love to the air and the sky. And when I am struggling for breath amongst dying flowers, abusive diaries, and taillights fading into blackness, there is a tightness in my chest reminding me that I am still alive. And in those moments, I can't help but thank honey and paintbrushes and God that I keep breathing.